Michael said is, you know, you can't measure, uh, if you can't measure, you can't fix it. The, the thing that we've really found with Tracer, which will lead into my story is, it not only gives us um, that there may be a deficit, it tells us which direction and is it on the acceleration, is it on a deceleration, is it on a change of direction, is it uh, forward, diagonally, posterior, to the left, to the right, there's so much information it gives us on what we can do to help improve that individual, and it can be used in the rehabilitation process. So it streamlines our therapy. It completely streamlines it and um, enables us to focus on what's what the real deficit is. Yeah. The traditional PT tests for a fall risk assessment still are important, but it doesn't measure the functionality of what can happen. So we have an individual case study that we have. It's been about a month now uh, in uh, Florida. And uh, it's an individual came to us in a uh, walker, and he had some challenges with gait, balance, um, and he wanted to get better. His wife was swimming and out, very active. He's in his, his mid-80s. And um, we did the traditional test on, uh, I think we did a timed up and go. His score was, was, was at a significant deficit. I can't remember the score right off hand, but it, we backed it up with a, a tracer analysis on a 90-second mm -hmm. random he was able to hit two bumpers on his first one with a walker okay in 90 seconds being able to hit two bumpers which is which for the group listening right now is is not very good um the the average at the uh for an athlete is about 48 90 seconds so you can imagine the discrepancy between two bumpers and 48 just to start to preface that and, and there were no barriers in his way so in his apartment he's got to navigate with that walker and he was really challenged it's six foot two 250 pounder and um so it, it was a baseline, and we got all kinds of, of data. And you can use the tracer with an assistive device, which is another cool thing. It's, it's, it will um, pick up the assistive device as it enhance the testing. And so we implemented tracer and some other uh, traditional balance programs with him. And over the course of two weeks, he went from two to thirteen, and then over another week, he went to nineteen bumpers. But he did the nineteen bumpers with a straight cane. So week three, he came with a straight cane. Uh, he was working with one of our therapists, Beth, in, uh, in Florida, and he came and says, you know what, not only am I now on a straight cane, the, he's in a community, the, the residents of the community are, are you know, bragging about him, you know, look at Luke, get around. And um, so he's with his cane, and he goes, but Beth, I got to tell you, I had a near fall this weekend, you know, and as a therapist, you're worried, like, oh my gosh, he had a near fall. He goes, no, no, I want you to hear me loud and clear. It was a near fall. Where a month ago, prior to this therapy and tracer, it would have been a certain fall. And in this type of community, in, when they fall, the staff members cannot get them up. They just send an ambulance ride to the emergency room. So they assess them and either send them to skilled nursing and eventually work his way back. So not only did he not fall, he was able through his uh, therapeutic interventions, including tracer, prevent him from falling, save an ambulance ride, plus an emergency room visit, plus possibly a, a fracture. Sure. or an injury, and to stay in a sniff, and, and potentially not come back to the um, community. He's now, as of last week, in a, a swimming pool. So he's walking around. Yep. And this, this is a gentleman that really had kind of was looking to get into a scooter, and now he's getting into a, a straight cane and to get into the pool. So we're going to see that more and more. We're going to see that more and more, for sure. That's a great story. It gives you chills. Yeah. That's awesome.